Please welcome this week's special guest, Steve. So, Terry, what is Steve to you? Uh, this is my mate Steve, and uh, we were actually questioned by police who mistook us both for jewel thieves. <laughs> right? That sounds incredibly plausible. Uh, Lee, <laughs> perhaps you'd like to explain how you know Steve. This is Steve. We own a greyhound together that's come last in every race. <laughs> and finally, Jimmy, what's your connection with uh, Steve? Uh, this is Steve. We were at primary school together. I didn't see each other for 20 years and then uh, met up in a hotel when he brought me room service. <laughs> well, there you we call, are. You call it room service. David's team, where do you want to start? I think you're all claiming to be friends with him. I want to see, like, a real connection. So if you could all just give him a hug, I want to see if there's a, you know... <laughs> you want to see if I hug this man like I own a greyhound with him? No, no, no. If it, he's your friend, if you own something with him... That's it. Yeah, OK. Yeah, yeah. This is how we hug. We've got that issue usually. Hey. How are you, little fella? <laughs> Hey, get off! I'm trying to get off with it. That's how we know. He's my mate alone. Hey, look, mate. Hi, darling. <laughs> <laughs> you just turn around. Yeah, sure. Just... <laughs> which uh, which hotel was this, Jimmy? Where uh... oh, it was the Lowry in Manchester. Larry. That is a hotel in that Manchester. That is a hotel in Manchester, yes. yes. Yeah. He's the night duty manager there. So he's, you know, he's... You know. He knew you were staying in the hotel and brought your room service up in order to renew to say hello. your acquaintance. Yes, and yes. I recognised him immediately and, you know... And did you go, oh, my God, Steve? Yeah, I, I mean, he really hasn't changed that much. <laughs> have, you, have you remained friends with him since that? Yeah, I stay in the same hotel quite a lot. When, when oh, I'm... so you only see him when he comes to the no, hotel? No, I literally... Yeah, but that's fine. Well, he lives that's in Manchester, I live in London, friend. so we see each other. He's not your friend, then. What do you want me to do, take him to the zoo? No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> so, and Lee, what's the, name, what's the name of the greyhound you own with him? It's called Bally Regan. Um, and how many times has Bally Regan raced? Six times. And has always come last. Always oh, come absolutely last. We put him in too high a grade. That's the problem. And where's where's Bally Regan uh, raced? Wimbledon. Right. <laughs> so where where does he live? Wimbledon. There are most of the dogs that run at Wimbledon are trained in Wimbledon. Right. So he lives he lives at uh, what a, a kennels. In, no, he uh... lives at the Trust House Forty. Where do you think he lives? <laughs> <laughs> Dog tracks have adjacent kennels. They and do. They're Bally very Regan lives in the adjacent kennels. The, they, trainers right. live around oh, you're dog on, tracks. Right. So you've in got trouble now. David why, why? and dog racing, he knows everything about yeah. it. Yeah. If there's one thing, listen, if there's one thing I'm going to always beat David on, it's dog racing. <laughs> Often down at Waltham Stowe with me, would buy. Uh, what? Run, you little bastard, or I'll shoot so how, much it, how much is it? How much is it? Where are the it? pheasants? There's no bloody pheasants. <laughs> I don't understand. Yeah. We'll never catch the fox at this rate. <laughs> what, are you, what are you talking about? Pheasants? Dogs? Fox? I mean, what sort of a menagerie do you imagine oh, yeah. I would be imagining? I imagine you imagine... Yeah, I'm in my castle <laughs> with ten different sorts of vaguely posh animal, all fighting each other, then I kill a servant and have sex with the wall. That's your yes. That's who you are! <laughs> right. Um, how much does it cost to kennel Bally Regan? It costs £35 a week. So why do you share him? Are you, is it a credit crunch? <laughs> um, because it was Steve's idea. So, Terry, how did you get to know Steve? Just being out and about, you know, drinking and what have you. So you met him in a pub? He was a stranger in a pub, you got talking, you're out, out and about, you know... Out and about, and you yeah, met exactly. him. Yeah. You're out and about on a friend-finding mission. <laughs> Can you be my friend? Yes. OK, can you, can, you, um, can you tell us the actual situation? Why did the police think that you were a jewel thief? They, they just thought we were sort of... Dress like the description of um, stripy top. It was in the city centre, and um, what is it? We're walking down the road. Next thing you know, these four police cars pull up, and hang on, city centre, Manchester pedestrianised, mate. You should know that. <laughs> what, they pull up in police trams. <laughs> So we were, walk, we were walking down this road in the city centre, right, and four police cars pulled up. Got out and walked. And they got, they got out. <laughs> and, uh, three miles. 
themselves. <laughs> and they, they, and they, they just said that we fitted the description of these guys who just carried out a robbery on a, jewel, on a jeweler's. Right, we need an answer. So, David's team. Uh, is Steve Terry's partner in crime, Lee's partner in a dog, or Jimmy's <laughs> primary school pal? OK, can, so. I, can I rule Terry out at this stage? <laughs> Okay. I'm, I'm happy to rule and Terry I out do think stage. Steve looks too well-groomed to be from Manchester. <laughs> oh. 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 Another thing as well, Lee, I think you were too successful to have bought half a dog. I think you just buy your own greyhound. <laughs> just, I think it's Jimmy. You think it's Jimmy? I think it's greyhound. I think I'm edging towards Jimmy, because I Jimmy. think Jimmy looked a little bit put upon when, when you were sort of having a go at, what, you know, what a essentially bad friend he is. <laughs> <laughs> You're very well, it's all for a quick sandwich in a hotel bar, but, you know, I've got gigs and stuff, so... <laughs> <laughs> Isn't it? Yeah. Catch you next time, I'm passing through town. So, David, time um, to decide. <laughs> Well, I think we'll go with the majority decision, which is that we You're think it's, it's, it's Jimmy. Jimmy. OK, well, Steve, uh, would you like to reveal your true identity? Yeah, the truth is uh, me and Terry were mistaken as jewel thieves. <laughs> 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 yes. Uh, Steve is Terry's mate, and they were questioned by the police who mistook them for jewel thieves. Was it a pedestrianised area? Uh, no, it was in Derby, actually, not Manchester. <laughs> You liar. No, I just said a city centre. He said Manchester. <laughs> Thank you very much, Steve. <laughs>